Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. When we last left off, we saw the last dying gasps of Terra Grisia. Now, let's go back. Back to the ship. And join Jill. BC doing here? <laughs> answer me, Raymond. I don't have to answer anything. It's... You have no authority over this. There's no time to fight. We've got to... Give it a rest. I don't even know why you're here or who you're fighting. Raymond, stop right there. Nothing will change unless you get your hands dirty. Hmm... What a dick. Oops. Don't do that. We need to search this ship for answers. Not that I relish the idea. Oh yeah. <laughs> we can scroll up, but we can't scroll down. I forgot my macros. Still didn't get them sorted. There we go. That's what we wanted. Let's, uh, you know, not waste that uh, grenade. There, there, good lad. Yes, uh, good old Raymond. Not bad for an 80 odd year old. No, I think we decided he was 56, didn't we? Oh, great. These guys really are everywhere, aren't they? That's going to be awkward going forwards. But, you know, they're not that tough, admittedly. I mean, you know, tough enough, but we'll make do. Right, I guess we need to get a move on. All right, Parker, I'm on the way. Oh, hi. Hello there. Nice to see you. Oh, jeez. Jeez. You guys are, are everywhere. Literally everywhere. I mean... Is that really necessary for you guys to be everywhere? That's the real question. Put that straight through his sternum. Now the trouble with these guys is we have no idea when they're going to uh, emerge from their cocoons. Which is bad. Other way, Parker. Handgun ammo, 25 rounds. Alright, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Anybody home? Really? No? You sure? Actually, surprised by this. Relevation. <laughs> no, just me? Okay. Ooh. Voss is that. Uh, rifle ammo. Rifle ammo is always good. Rifle ammo is always a good time. It really is. You know, if the um, shooting mechanic... Um, if the aiming with the control pad wasn't wasn't quite so... Well, I don't think it's bad. It's just, uh, aged. I would uh, swap over to my controller, to be honest with you. Can we still scan these? No. Some enemies you can actually scan multiple times, which is cool. I don't like it. No, sir, I don't. Getting lots of items around, which is nice. We like to see that. Legendary parts. Okay. Machine gun ammo. Well, we like machine gun ammo, but, uh, you know. It's nice when we can actually use the machine gun ammo. What have we got here? Oh, lovely. Look at that. A uh, discarded message with a written with a quill, no less. Oh, God. Please help me. This can't be happening. Don't leave me to die in this hell. I'm trapped here. There are monsters here. Real ones. Everybody's dead or dying. There are no survivors. Shit. We're all going to die. We are. We always, we always were, you know. It's one of those things, my friend. 
We should find an emergency communication room if we go through the hall. Yes, we should. Put a round in his skull just to be sure. So, history of the Queen Zenobia. Tonnage. She's a big ship. Electric diesel engines. Okay. Wow. 1,094 uh, crew. That's a lot. 2,200 passengers. Now, this is one thing that strikes me as a little bit odd. We explore the hell out of this ship, right? 2,200 passengers. That would lead you to believe that there's going to be a lot of cabins. But there isn't. <laughs> there's only, like, you know, a handful. Kind of like the um, Spencer Mansion, I suppose. You know, it's a really cool designed, you know, um, horror house. But as a practical living house, yeah, not so much. So there's one toilet in the whole mansion. Or was there two? Can't remember now. Um, so anyway, this uh, line flagship was constructed in 1978. The interior was designed to replicate that of ships of the 1930s, the golden age of cruise ships. The design was based on blueprints left by George Trevor before his disappearance. Newspapers from the time of the ship's construction report uh, accolades the design received. The ship herself is named after Z uh, Zenobia, the queen of the uh, Palamuric Empire, who was disposed by the Romans. Like the legendary beauty of her namesake, this ship is also known as the Beauty of the Atlantic and remained one of the most popular cruise ships built in the 20th century. With the rise of air travel uh, supplanting the popularity of long seafaring voyages, it looked like the Queen Zenobia, along with her sister ship, was destined to be junked in the late 80s. Yeah, that would not be a very long service life for a ship. I mean, if she was built in 78 and she was going to be scrapped in the 80s, yeah, that's that's... <laughs> That's not good. Like a ten, a decade long service life for a massive, um, you know, liner like this. Yeah, ouch, not good. Um, fortunately, she was purchased by the uh, Paragus line, and her steam turbines were replaced with an electric diesel propulsion system. Her hold and cabin areas were expanded, and she was upgraded with the latest technology. The Queen Zenobia was reborn as a fully functional luxury liner. After its restoration, the Queen Zenobia set out on a cruise around the world, followed by one around South, Amer uh, yeah, South America and many, many others. In the future, she will find her main harbour in the Mediterranean for her cruises around Africa. The Queen Zenobia will be bringing pleasure to the passengers for years to come. The history of the Queen Zenobia, 1995. Okay. Hey, Captain. You, uh, you don't, you don't uh, look so good there. How horrible. Must have been a painful death. Well, I don't know. We we don't really know how he died, Jill. I mean, oh, for God's sakes, really? Ooh, got something in his belly. Shotgun shells in his belly. Anybody care to explain that one? I'm all ears. Right. Anyway, let's get out of here. We're on it. So, George Trevor, eh? George Trevor. He uh, he had quite the um, portfolio, didn't he? If you think about it. He uh, built the Spencer Mansion. Come on, you big bastard. Ooh. Put your ass down. So he built the Spencer Mansion. He built the uh, house in Louisiana. From Resident Evil 7. Yeah. Quite the history. Ooh. Ooh. Winged him. Winged him. That was enough. 
was enough. Not much going on in here. Don't know if these areas like repopulate items. Have I said that before? I've probably said that before. But I don't think they do. Right, we're clear. All right, Parker, let's get this show on the road. Uh, let's go upper cabins, I suppose. I forget where we're actually going. Uh, destination. Ah, right, yeah. Yes. We're going through. We're going through the promenade. That's unfortunate. That really is rather unfortunate. Legendary parts. I think we're finding like better parts. Oh, look at this shit, man. Yeah, we're definitely finding better parts, I think. Or are we? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't want to say one way or the other. Maybe I've just forgotten. Which is certainly possible. Yeah, you know, I forget my name if it wasn't sewn into my underwear. All right, come on, Parker. Anybody in here? No. All quiet here too. Unbelievable. Where is everybody? Well, there's two thousand, two thousand people on board. Three thousand if you include the crew. Where is everybody hiding? No time for a bit of rough and tumble. There we go. All right, sweetheart. How you like that, huh? This rifle is where it is. I see you weren't alone. Lovely. Is that Gertrude? Auntie Gertrude? Oh, there we go. Two birds with one stone. You love to see it. And there's still more. So we need the card reader for that. Let's go see if we can get a couple of uh, vertical stiffs. Oh. Okay. Well. I guess I was hearing things. I know you can sometimes hear enemies through walls. That is a thing. It's actually kind of cool as well. Oh, hello. What do you have for me? Oh, you sweetheart. You absolute sweetheart. Very nice of you to give me those rifle bullets. All right, what are we looking like? Oh, evening. Didn't see you there, sir. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be feeling that for a while, aren't you? Oh, hello. We got ourselves a living stiff. Living stiff, does that make sense? Well, I suppose. Oh, yeah, hitboxes get a bit weird when you get barriers and things in the way. Yeah, living stiff in the concert, uh, confines of Resident Evil. I think that makes sense. You know what I mean. I know what I mean. It's all good. Now, on one of these turkeys here. There's this turkey over here. There's a handprint. I don't know if I've got that handprint. Maybe I do. I haven't got all the handprints in this one. Uh, somehow. No, I guess I've got that one. Um, An anchor. Yeah, we don't have the anchor key yet, do we? Boo! Uh, can we go in that little room? No, we need the key card. Yeah. Right. We really need that key card, the Veltro key card. And we need to remember that if we go through the lower deck, there's stuff to find. Alright. 
Now, is this going to load faster than when I play it on my Xbox? Because although I'm playing this on a Series S, I have it on a external hard drive. Whereas on this, it's on an M.2. No, it doesn't actually load any faster. Not really. How curious. Yes, pretty swaggo. Well, 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 Parker. I'll show you where the emergency communication room is, but there is a few things that we can do before we head inside there. Now, there is somewhere around here. There's potentially a handprint, unless I haven't already got it. Which is possible. I don't think I'm going to really spend a lot of time focusing on trying to get the handprints, but... You know, if we can. If we can, we will. There is one. There's one. How many have I got? It doesn't tell me. Oh. On the Xbox, it comes up saying, like, X amount of ham prints out of X, I guess. Right, an anchor mark is on the fence. Yep, that ain't no good. That ain't no good at all. Now, we actually technically need to go through up here. Yeah, I'll probably get those handprints like on a different difficulty anyway. Fire rate one. Damage two. Long magazine five. It's not bad. Damage plus four. Burst one. Long magazine. Okay, so we've got some cool stuff. Um, five shot burst. Load capacity is a bit rubbish there. Ten rounds. I'm not convinced, though, to be honest, on that five shot burst. I don't think it's really worth it. In fighter, perhaps. Charge shot. Reloader reload quickly. That might not be a, an awful shout. Charge shot is also quite useful, I suppose. Like, if we're going to... I mean, it gives us the option, I guess. Days also. Days is quite nice. Or two shots with one trigger pull isn't bad. At least you're not going to fucking spurge out the whole magazine in two clicks. Um, Which is a problem. Really. Five shot burst. Yeah, I, re I really don't want that. Stopping power up by 500%. Might not be a bad idea. But we could also go for... I just go for that, actually. Because if we're going to use the handgun, you know, shit's hit the fan, really. So, damage... Two shot burst is probably the best thing we can get on that, to be honest with you. Low capacity plus 116 rounds. <laughs> it's pretty good, to be fair. Never gonna say no to making this motherfucker do more damage. Uh, sure. Let's take everything off this thing. So we have all of our options. So that is a plus four damage, isn't it? Plus four damage, plus five damage. Yeah, okay. All right, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Another handprint there. Handprint found. There is a life boy mark. Thanks, Parker. I have eyes too. Note left in front of the emergency communication room. This is the emergency communication room. Nobody gets in without my permission and not without my key. If you want in, come find me at my usual spot on the promenade deck. There's a message scrawled underneath. This is crap. The ship is crawling with freaks and monsters. I'm going to the promenade. Because at least I can find food there. Anybody who's still alive can meet me 
up there. You know where to find me. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not going out like that. I can promise you that. I hope I'm not the only survivor. Your friendly neighborhood comms officer. Mm. Yeah, but before we go there. All in good time, Parky, my old man. My boy. We've got some stuff to do before that, though. So, friendly neighborhood comms officer. Really? Okay, well, I mean, I, I guess we're going to see how friendly he is when we get um, a little bit up close and personal with the gentleman. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he'll, he'll rustle us up a little snack. Anyway, let's go and have a little squiz through here. Because this is kind of like a little secret area, I think. I don't. Well, it's not a secret, but it's optional. You don't have to do this. I don't think you have to do this, anyway. Oh, cat's going crazy. As they do. Yeah. Yeah, this is... This is still hell on earth. Right, we'll take the handgun bullets. And a herb. Uh, I guess we'll take the herb. Why not? One second, guys. Right, we're back. Cool. Oh. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, that's never going to be unsatisfying. Shot straight through the throat. Right, let's have a little look at the swimming pool, shall we? See what we've got to find here. Shotgun shells, very nice. Yeah, uh, that's that's not looking so so good. Oh, uh oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Sit down. Oof. Take a seat, chump. Hang on bullets, we don't need that. So yes, look at this um, material. Doesn't look too nice. There is a handprint on that. Um, also, there's some rather yummy goodies. Something's covering the pool, creepy. Yeah, a large mass of uh, material. Jill, just putting it lightly. Large mass of material. It's only worth 1%, but, you know, 1%'s 1%. I don't know why the mouse is on the screen. It's kind of strange. <laughs> Whatever, I guess. Uh, right. Do-do-do-do. One of you. Uh, that needs to come up. That needs to... Does that need to go down? That needs... Alright, what are we looking at here? That needs to come down that way. That potentially... Uh, right, that's better. Let's untangle these wires. I kind of like these puzzles. I mean, I suppose you don't really have a lot of choice. You have to like these puzzles, because they are like the only puzzles <laughs> in Revelations. Uh, let's get this to come down over there. That can stay. You can get up. Can we get you down? That's not good enough, is it? We'll have you like that. This guy is still connected. Let's have you over there. Let's get you up there, potentially. Hmm. Still crossing the wire there. Can we put you down like that? Alright, those two are okay. 
Oh yeah, you can't just pull them over, can you? No, that would be far too easy. Um, I might to pull you down, pull you over, pull you up, pull you over, pull you there, pull you there, and put you there. And that, there we go, got there in the end. Right, not bad, Jill. Not bad. So, we have some legendary parts. Okay. Not going to say no to some legends. Doesn't look like there's any other goodies here. Some more parts, custom parts, nothing major. So, cleaning report for next on duty. There are notes handwritten in the comments column of the report. March 25th. There were some kind of barnacles sticking to the bottom of the pool. Don't know where they came from. Please take care of them. March 30th. The barnacles are back again. Looks like they're all grouping together into a little colony. Maybe they're a new species? Might be fun to keep some as a pet. April 10th. Looks like the pipe that dis distributes water was damaged. It was fixed, but there's a chance there was some contamination on this end. The guy in charge of security wasn't very happy. Maybe it has something to do with a new species of barnacles. Yikes. That's no species of barnacle, that's for sure. Oh. Interesting. Well, let's start purifying the water. Nice. Okay, well... This system doesn't run miracles, but I guess if we pump enough chlorine in, we'll purify anything. So we've done everything we can now. Yes, we will indeed come back later. Come on, dude. Ooh. This charged up gun feels so powerful. It's so good. Alright, well, I don't know if that guy's going to come to life. Well, I mean, he will, but I guess not yet. It's a shame you can't just shoot them, really. Okay, cool. Let's go. Oh, we're on like almost half an hour already. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, let's all go to the lobby. Yeah, you do get a bit of stuttering in these loading transition scenes. Uh, which you don't actually get on Xbox. Curious. I do like um, examining the differences between ports and versions. Right, so, off to the promenade. Alright, Parker, it's going to get rough here. I'm just going to say that. Well, to be fair, it's going to be rough because it's going to be, you know, pretty difficult. But we are topped up on ammo and we have some pretty freaking wicked weapons. So difficult, sure. But we should be in relatively good hands. We'll get our decoys ready. Now, all aboard of the promenade. I have a feeling that we're in for some chop. I think we can charge this gun up, can't we? Ooh, nope, it hasn't got charge, it's got double shot. Well, either or. Oh. God, this was like one of the best parts of the games. Playing this on the 3DS with your headphones on for the first time. Oof. I mean, we knew. We knew that something was afoot. We knew. Keep forgetting we don't have charge. Come on. Just get that shotgun charged. Get out of here, dude. Seriously. Not got time for your nonsense. Right, this... Can't remember what this gun's got on it. C. 
see roughly how effective it is. It's quite a slow gun. But it's not that bad. We almost have another herb saved up. Aha. Uh -huh. How much damage? Okay, they really aren't that tough. Which is good, because they're a one-hit kill. So, you know. <laughs> they can be really nasty things to bump into. Looks like we found the promenade. Yeah, we're on the promenade, alright. But, that's where the fun begins, son. Do we want the machine gun? Maybe. Might be what? Nah. Oh. I don't think so. 15 shotgun shells. Now that is a spicy meatball. There's monsters hiding behind every corner. Yep. We have yet to find one survivor. Well, we did find Rachel. I mean, she was kind of... Oh, charge up level four. Ooh. Charge up level four. Ooh, no. Where's that gone? Right. Can oh, come on. Fiddly ass. There we go. No, we don't want the PSG one. Okay. Oh, come on. I really don't like this system. Right. Charge shot. Where is it? Reloader could be fun. Not needed, though. Charge shot. Ah, right, so char ah, charge shot four is only available for a magnum, unfortunately. That's, yeah, that is unfortunate, to be honest. Okay, well, if we can't have it, we can't have it. Uh, might not be a terrible idea to get an assault rifle out, to be honest. Might not be a bad shout. Yeah. Let's get some mods on this thing. That's quite a lot of extra damage, so that's cool. We'll go for a long magazine. Give us 42 rounds. Sure. Up the crit rate. It's quite nice, actually. Reloader? Maybe? Can we not... Fire rate? I guess we can't improve the fire rate much on it. Uh. I think it's only fire rate five that we can add. Uh, ups power to put an enemy into a daze by 50. That's not super useful. Um, yeah, we'll put reloader on there as well. Okay. It's not a bad weapon now. All right, let's go. Oh, that was... There's probably the closest to being scary this game ever came now this bit here is actually a checkpoint so this is where we're gonna leave it <laughs> when we come back I guess we're gonna go take this guy on I've no idea how difficult this is gonna be he's not the hardest boss in the world that's for sure you can just pretty much shoot the shit out of him anywhere uh, he does have weak spots, obviously, but the trouble is, it's all the other enemies around the arena, of which there are many. Uh, the thing that does make this difficult first time you actually play it, though, is the fact that uh, you really don't have a lot of equipment when you get to this part. Whereas we're pretty much armed to the teeth and dressed to kill, so we got a good chance. Anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.